but we're not uh we're not in a hurry to sell it so we're just gonna put out put it out there and then when the right buyer comes along they come along and we're not really picky about who they sell it to uh you know if a tech level four government wants to try to boost themselves to tech level fine we're we don't have five we don't have any problems with helping them do that i see well there would be people that would have qualms with you helping someone to schooner go to uh, go up to pre-tech levels of technology that's why we're having you handle the uh handle the sales information for us yes i see where do you plan on storing that thing oh we've got it tucked away safe like i said that's the reason why you're going to handle the sales so if people show up angry uh they can't take our reactor Yes, and take my head. You're a lawyer. Nobody, nobody attacks lawyers. They're afraid of getting sued. <laughs> We're barely, barely humans as it is. Well, I'll see what I can do. I cannot promise you instant, you know, richness. Let's say. You see. How much yeah. are you looking to make out of this? Just so I can have a potential uh, uh, audience to auction this off to. Uh, well, I'll send the schematics over to you. Um, I figured you'd, you know, probably con subcontract uh, some sort of pre-tech specialist to do an appraisal. But my expectation is that this is worth somewhere between five and ten million credits and we'd be willing to take about half of that since it's used that that is a lot of money leech and i'll tell you right now none of these have gone for that money are there other pre-tech capital ship reactors on the market right now there were when you know when the capital ships of Gunhild weren't around, they are all made from spare uh, reactors. You see. All right. Well, I mean, my uh, my price list here says it's fifty million for a post-tech battleship. I figure the reactor cost is at least ten percent of the whole cost. So if you consider the premium for a pre-tech to be double. I would put it somewhere between the five and ten million brand new price range, and like I said, I mean we're looking to get fair market. So if it's used, twenty five to fifty percent of the new price is that's my my gut feeling. But like I said, we'll send you the specs over, hire somebody, you know, subcontract them who's an expert with pretech, have them do a good appraisal, and put it up for what it's worth. Well, I'll see what I can do. Just a minute again, my phone's ringing. Wow. I want that to be my ringtone. We say yo ho, but we don't say ho. Because that is offensive. Yo. Yo ho. All right, we are back.
I am back. Welcome back. So yeah, that is uh, that is what Erkad says. He'll he'll try his best to get the fairest price, but as he told you, none of these have gone for such a price. Um, and that's that little problem solved. Cool. Anything else you guys want to get done? Uh. How long did it take you to get to Gun Hill? Um, wait, let me look. A week? Okay, seven days. Um, are we putting up the fact that we also want to sell the salvage rights to the ship or whatever then? Oh uh, yeah, we'll put that in the ad too. Ah, okay. Well, so the wholesale will be the reactor and the salvage rights? Or one or the other. Yep, and I think we'd also, if somebody doesn't have the money to buy the entire reactor, we'd be willing to sell them, um, like, the schematics or whatever that we have, like, all yeah. of our information on the reactor for, like, you know, 10%. Mm -hmm. And we'll sell that to as many people as, as are willing to pay for it. Okay, um, so you are also going to put the schematics on the market by yourselves, or along, are you having or could do, can do the same? Uh, well, we put out an ad or whatever, and Urkad or whatever, what's his name? Urkad. Um, that's, he's like the, who to get into contact if they're interested type thing. Like he's going to handle the negotiations. Okay. So are you just going to wait around Gun Hill to get any answers or just, or? Oh, I wasn't expecting else? this to happen overnight. I figured mm. he, Eckerd or whatever would get into contact with us when he thought he had a reasonable buyer lined up. Okay. It's like, have you ever sold like a, a house or a car in real life? Like sometimes big ticket sales can take like, you know, a month or two or for a car, for a house, it can take years to sell, you know? I'm, I'm only 21. Uh, you will so find no. <laughs> when you go to buy a house that it takes, like you find a house that you want to buy, you have the money, you meet all the requirements, and it still takes you four months to buy the house. Just because of like negotiations, the fucking paperwork, everything's got to get appraised. You've got all these other companies that have to sign off and they've got their due diligence. So, yeah, we're not expecting this to happen quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so you guys are orbiting, orbiting Gun Hill. Did anyone level up, by the way? No, it was a big jump, I think. Didn't the experts level up? Maybe we did. Uh, we've we leveled up once, but that was just a couple of sessions ago. Oh, okay. What's everyone's experience right now? 3, 8, 50. Yeah, same here. Okay. <laughs> 3, 50, and the experts didn't level up. I'm like level 3 or something. Uh, I think the next level is 6,020. So you, the experts leveled up? A while ago. Yeah, yeah, a while ago. Oh, okay. So like you didn't do anything ago, so. with your skill points? I did. I leveled up science and 
post tech? We never did that. Yes, we did. We totally did. Yeah, on Gunhill. Mm -hmm. You did that on level two. Yeah, but we're not level three. Level three is six thousand twenty. No, level yeah, four is six thousand twenty for you. Is it? Yeah, yeah, you are level three right now. Mm -hmm. The experts What's... are level three. Okay, well, <laughs> let's do some leveling up then. So, what was the level cap for level three? Three thousand twenty. Oh. And that's why you should use the Google Docs um, character sheet. It literally warns you when you when you level up. Everything changes. Uh, not war. Whoa. Whoa, that level so changes. yeah, experts. What do you want to level up? Shotguns. Um, science and pre-tech? Is there a wrangling skill? Uh, wrangling? <laughs> what do you mean, wrangling? <laughs> it's in Warhammer, man, wrangling. Oh, please. It's for, like, animal <laughs> rustling or something. Yeah, yeah, you tame a pet. Fuck that nonsense. Every game has some sort of, like, animal handling. This one doesn't. That's you get a dog. survival. So at level three, you guys can level up your skills up to level two. Okay, well, I want, want combat to. projectile. I'm currently on one. I would like to make it two. It's going to take you four skill points and 2,000 credits. How many skill points do I have? I don't know. You were How many do you get for leveling up? Three, okay. Experts get three, warriors, psychics, and... No, no not AIs. AIs, it's random. Well, I mean, AIs can choose how many they get. What? Yep. Well, I can't remember how many I had last time because I don't think I wrote it down. I believe you spent all of them. Okay. Yeah, you. I remember spending all of mine. Though, write write them down next time. Well, then I'm not spending any points. Hurrah! Not even into persuasion. It's also a 1 to a 2. You can do it. It'll take you 3 skill points. Oh, well, then I'll totally do that, then. Okay. It's super expensive to keep skill points at max level. For skills at max skill ranks. Okay. Cost me any so money to learn this, or...? And you spend 2,000 credits, yes. Okay. Like if for a warrior, in fact, eventually you don't even get enough skill points to keep your main skill at your max level. Such as the life of a warrior. Like it doesn't happen for a while, but at like level seventeen or eighteen or whatever, like the maximum level that you're allowed to raise your rate, your skill to, you will not have enough points if you saved all your points and just put it into one skill. You will not have enough to raise it to that rank. You'll be behind always. Like, they made skilling up very expensive. Uh, how much time did it take? Let me check. I think it's... Rank plus skill points plus two? No, that sounds like a lot. So yeah, you, you'll get a lot more overall skill points if you spread your skills out, like way more. Okay. Okay, so it's going to take you skill points that you spent plus two. Three, four, five. So five days of training. 
for okay. this field. And regular one. Yeah, so... Um, um, wasn't there like a super ultra weapon blueprint I was working on, by the way? With the Cytex stuff? Yeah, you... Like, looking at it, you can tell that you're halfway through. Hmm. Yeah, so so to actually make one of those, I would need Cytex, right? Maybe, but to get Cytex, you would need to be a psychic. Well, to do really? oh. to do proper Cytex, to manufacture Cytex, you need oh. to be a psychic. Can he just well, contract that out once he's designed it, though? You can contract that out, yeah. Just oh, good. to a psychic. Like just that just has the Cytex part of it. Like you build the entire weapon except for the Cytex part. And you're like, here's the yes. plans. Here's the weapon. Can you Cytex it for me? Yeah, you can. You can do that. Yes. Can you enchant this uh, rifle for me? <laughs> exactly. Take it to the wizard. Yeah. Enchanting. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna take that then. Um, I'm gonna make um, pre tech a zero if I can. That should cost two, right? Because I'm at minus one. Uh, from zero to from minus one to zero costs two. Costs one. Oh. And from zero to one costs two. So you can spend all three skill points on pre tech and level it up to level one. Hmm. What does science do except like rolling for blueprints? Nothing, right? Well, science is very broad. <laughs> yeah. All, all, all skill, all skill tree, all, all skills are kind of broad. Well, depending on the skill, of course. Fuck it, I'll, I'll spend all of my skill points to get the pre-tech one. Do it! Okay, so it's five days and a thousand five hundred for learning. Okay. Five days? Yes. So by the end of training, it is the 14th, no, 24th, I mean, of July. I'm very close to doing a GM turn, if you have me. Oh, yeah. A lot of war is going to happen, kids. Well, not war. More like troop movement is going to happen. <laughs> Uh, I, Prelia, Prelia is going to be a hot zone. I really think we should start funneling weird shit that we find to Skaboria, like the yeah. body swap <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it to them. They're smart yeah. and they're crafty, and it'll be funny. Yeah, they'll figure something to do with it. They'll, they they'll are start, super like, crafty. Yeah, they are their fucking minds. over the protectorate big time. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah. we should take really intensive scans of that reactor and then just send it to Skaboria. <laughs> <laughs> just fuck people over by using the Skaborians. Yeah, just like launch yeah. a probe or whatever towards Skaboria that just transmits the data of the specs. Suddenly they have tech level 5 ships and no one knows how. Yeah, but we'll, we'll be heroes, so I mean... Home base Gaboria. Well, that's the thing, you can help whoever you want and fuck over whoever you want. So, if you want to help the rebellion on Scaboria, go right ahead. Oh, um, the Jack, by the way? Yes. Um, I think I read it's like a thousand credits for one HP or something like that. Around that, yes. 
Could I start repairing it? Yes. Uh, so it's at 1 HP right now? Yeah, it takes you 24 hours of doing this, but yes, it's at 1 HP, it's barely functional. Okay, and it has a max HP, HP of um, 10? Yeah, yes. 10. Okay, so I just like pay the credits to uh, do it to max HP. Well, get the get the stuff for doing it, I guess. Okay, yeah, so you would do that in Gunhill then? Because well, mm. they have max. And yeah, that's the only mm, place we can do it, right? Well, technically any tech level 4 planet is capable of producing max, though Gunhild is the only planet that does it. They are the only ones that implement max into their uh, military force. Yeah, so it would look weird if I went around starting to buy a shit ton of, of things to repair max with, I guess. Perhaps. So taking it up to 10 HP would take you 10 days, I believe. Let me. Let me well, maybe we shouldn't do it if it does like looks like weird, because. Well, you would be buying a lot of spare parts in bulk for a very type of specific technology. Hmm. For a very specific type of technology. Could I do it under a false name or something? Joey Jojo Jr. Shabadoo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's a Skaborian name, I believe. Um, roll a luck save. Oh shit, luck save. Uh, oh, Chris. Yeah. Have Have you gone into the sheet and updated your now we're rank three saves? No. Have you? You should. No. Oh no! It takes hours, not days. Big difference, Ariel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a single tech can repair a number of holes, uh, hole points of damage equal to their tech skill plus one for each hour of work. So, how many points do you have in tech post tech? Um, one. So, it takes you one plus how many hours you want to spend on it? Ten hours? Nine hours? Eight. Uh, yeah, nine, nine hours, hours time, would do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to find. Don't... Huh? We don't get any better saving throws until we're level five. Oh, okay. Just need to roll a 14 or more. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so tell me when are you doing this in Gunhill? After you take your classes in pre tech? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. So, are you going in? Are you going to the plant by yourself? Or is anyone like escorting him or, you know, going down along with him to, you know, do whatever. Who are you going to meet? Um, I'm going to, yeah, shopping. He's going down to Gunhill to buy spare parts for the Jack in bulk to to repair it. Basically. Could and I just buy like order. like a little bit from like each shop or something? Well, the luck. Roll has been tossed, <laughs> so yeah. the decision has been has been made. 
Okay. Fuck. Well, I, I guess I would ask Leech to come with me because he's like the businessman. Yeah, and I need to pick up some like ammo anyway. Like what? You need the ammo? Yeah. Do we okay. not? We have infinite ammo. I've been replacing the ammo that I shoot. Yeah, a fuck ton of ammo, I believe. But okay. Would you have wanted me to come along with my persuasive attitude, Raylan? I mean, I would probably have told you that we're going down. So, I mean, if you if you want to come, you can. I would have come to try and persuade and get you cheaper prices. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that leaves Mapachin and Natasha on the ship. Yeah, Mapachin doesn't like to be on Gunhild. <laughs> Shop team rollout. Okay, so you you basically ask around for very specific types of parts. Uh, eventually, you do find uh, a shop that you know is able to sell you these, and the shop owner. Whose name is going to be randomly generated? Bobby. Big Gabe. Nuts. <laughs> Bobby Big Nuts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, his adventures. Uh, his name is going to be Edmund. So, this guy, Mr. Edmund, um, I you go in with Leech and Albert. He takes your order and looks at it and he's like, these are very, very specific parts that you're looking for. Um, what are they for exactly? Because the only use I see for them is for a mech. Well, you know. Um... Do you do ship construction without exo armor? Leech says inquisitively. Because if you do, I recommend getting some sort of an exo suit. It'll make it about a thousand times easier. Those hard to reach places. Yeah, what he said. Mister Edmund says, "Well, not all ships are built with exo armor, sir." Well, we're trying to class up the joint. Oh, so you are in the shipbuilding business. Well, we have a ship, and, you know, we like to do our own maintenance when we can, and it's a lot easier if you have the right type of tools. I see. So you do have a, a mech. Uh, we're trying to build a, an exosuit for doing ship repairs, yeah. Very well, then. And he asks you to sign here, 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 pay the price of the of the spare parts, and you're good to go. Okay, so so I pay him. Okay. Do you sign your real name or what? Um. No. Well, yeah, okay. I do. I do sign my real name. Okay. Because we we did actually have a good explanation. Mm. So was was it nine thousand? Ten thousand. Ten thousand. You do spend nine hours uh, on the jack repairing it to full uh, to its full glory. Still looks like shit, though. Can I slap some paint on it? Sure. <laughs> like red teeth on the side, like. They paint on the front of bombs. 
Oh, there's, wow. there's a sword on, <laughs> on the arms, like there's two swords. Do we okay. have a handout for that mech? Yes. Yeah. It's a decent mech. I would yeah, say. we need to replace the rocket launcher with something though, otherwise we'll have to buy rocket ammo, and that'll be a pain in the ass. Could we also, fit don't the we have alpha, alpha or omega. omega on there? Ah, um, looking at the the two weapons and then the jack, it seems that at a first glance they look a bit too be too big for for this mech. What size is this mech? Shock or? It's a super. Oh, is, is that the smallest? I just call the smallest thing shock. It's suit sized, yeah. Yeah, it's and a so suit. it's a specialist. Suit. The alpha and omega needs like a light or a heavy frame. It would, looking at it, yeah, it would need at least light, maybe a heavy one, to support it, support them. So, yeah. So you look it over and it's clear what it is it's for. It's basically built to transport a small group of people into the into battle and provide some some cover before it goes down. <laughs> Yeah, I have more HP than that guy. <laughs> you do, yes. And eventually all of you will have. Oh, d don't we roll for HP? I believe you... Oh yeah, you didn't roll for HP. You completely forgot you leveled up, right? Yeah, the thing yeah. is, when you're wearing a uh, a suit mech, you can uh, split the damage between your HP and the suit's HP. No, no, you can only take the full hit. Well, yeah, right, so that's the same thing. So, Raylan and Albert, roll your new HP values. Um, how do I do this again? It's For you, it's 3d6 minus 3. And for Raylan, it's 3d6 plus 3. Oh yeah, go up with one. <laughs> I've gone up to 3 health, I think. I was on 5 before. Ooh. No, you were at 7 before. You're right. That minus three is such a kick in the nuts. I have made things that can solve that issue. Look at the difference between their HP. They're like the same level. There is technology. Yeah. He to has more than double. That. <laughs> well, I have a 14 con, so. And you rolled a 14 on your HP too, which helps, but. Mm -hmm. You know, there is technology that helps with those negative attributes. Well, the second we get our millions, I'll be able to buy some of that technology. <laughs> How much money do you have? Like 30k? Okay, you cannot afford it. Anyway, I have 62,000. How will we sell all our loot when we be able to buy stuff? I kind of think we should sell the mech, to be honest, after you fix it. Yeah, it's fixed now. Sell it to the Skaborians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I imagine three of them inside of it on, on each other's <laughs> shoulders. Uh, you, you just want to give everything to the Skaborians so they get nuked 
out of existence. No. We don't want the Skaborians nuked. Well, we want them to I win. assume. So this mech isn't pre-tech, right? Uh, not really. Uh, well, it comes from before the screen, but it is from Raylan's and Natasha's analysis. It's technology that can be easily replicated. Like, if we can build ships, we can build these without much trouble. At least that's what she said. So it's basically just like a normal uh, specialist suit. Yeah. So it's worth like maybe 200k. I have its exact value here. Maybe 250, depending on its systems. Its AC has been upgraded, that's probably what it's upgraded. Uh, yeah, it has an upgraded AC. It has an upgraded AC. I think so. Um, specialist suit AC3, but on the sheet it says suit AC2. So it's got oh. AC1 lower than most specialist suits. Oh, shit, that's wrong. Which is actually pretty <laughs> sweet. <laughs> That is wrong. No. Are you sure it's not just pre tech and has a better AC? <laughs> no, I'm sure it's just a normal mech suit. Well, let me check if any of its fittings change AC. No, none of them do. So, doing a systems check on it, uh, you can tell that everything that's in it. Totals to 234,000 credits. Yeah, so we should be able to sell this thing for like 100 to 150k. Depending on who you want to sell it to, of course. Is the mech market pretty full? Like, is it an active market? Uh, what did you ask? Sorry. Is there an active uh, mech market? A place where we could go sell a specialist suit? Well, a Mac market is a bit more narrow than, you know, a weapons market or something like that. Because Gunhill is the place that has the most of them. People usually, you know, sell and buy Macs from Gunhill. Other places have them, but not as, not as much. Like, I would say maybe if Phil... Uh, approves of the idea that maybe Cardice uses a few suits to help mine the Cardice. Yes, yes, of course it does. Yeah, we can sell this to your family. We do also have a few mechs that uh, patrol, patrol the outside of the uh, the the home, just in case. Um, but you know, mech usage is not that high in the sector. Only Gunhill really, really uses them. And they don't really use suits. They use light max the most. So yeah, if you want to sell it, you could probably find uh, a buyer. It's just... You know, it's 
it's something like the reactor, just it won't take as long. Okay, I'd like to do whatever if you don't think it's worth keeping. Mechs are a bit of a specialized thing to use. You need exosuit mm -hmm. and gunnery. Okay, yeah, well, let's do it then. Okay. <laughs> really, that's so <laughs> sad. I have well, both of those. I think I do have gunnery. But Did you say you exosuit. both have both of those? Yeah. You do? Uh, I have exosuit uh, zero. Do I need a one in that? No. And gunnery one. You're just gonna want a better mech, though. You're not gonna yeah. want a specialist suit. You're gonna want either a shock suit or one of the lighter heavy mechs. Yeah, and then we'll like put Alpha and Omega on it. Exactly. Mm, yeah. Because that specialist suit will blow up from one hit. Yeah. Unless I take it. The hit. Yeah. Best. Basically, you can let it take one hit, and it'll be like. A one or two hit points, and then the, all the rest of the hits you'll have to take. So it gives you like plus 10 hit points, basically. Yeah. But its AC is 3, which is worse. Well, that's probably okay for you, but for yeah, us, it would literally be lo making our AC worse. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll be getting a mech in the future, I guess. Or maybe build one. You know that building a mech requires a lot of specialized facilities. Yeah. We can buy them. Yeah, we'll just <laughs> yeah, you the can ship buy with them. that. A heavy no. shock mech costs one no. million, and by the time you get the bells and whistles on it, it's like, you know, a million and a half, two. You know, maybe you can sell it to Gunhill and exchange it for a heavy suit, a heavy mech. Exchange the the reactor for a heavy mech. Eh, uh, I'll, I'll I'll think we'll we'll wait. Or like, yeah, you could build out a light shock for like a million credits, and it would be solid. Yeah, and then we just become like a, like a flying mech factory. And yeah, make shit some of the money. You want to build everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, let's call it for now because people are tired, I believe. I'm, I'm very much falling asleep. I'm sorry, everyone. Aww. You're not the only one. Sorry. God damn it, why? What What happened? I didn't sleep much last night. Ah, uh, okay. It's not the game, I was tired all day. No. Then my cat wanted to cuddle me, that was the last straw. <laughs> so warm. Yeah. I've enjoyed it, and we got some shit done. I think we uh, have a better know knowledge of what's going to happen next week, to be honest. No, oh. <laughs> no you don't. Mm. You ignored someone, someone that's very pissed. Technically, she ignored us. Yeah. She didn't no. answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, so today everyone will acquire 400 experience points. Oh, yeah. That means I level up to two? Three. Three, yeah. Okay, then. My 
sheet said I was level one. Mm, that's wrong. I can raise my projectile to two. Yes, nice. you can spend the time doing it if you want to. It's two thousand credits. From one to two, yes, two thousand credits and two skill points. I need to recheck. Just give me a few. Yeah, I have my skill point progression mapped out underneath my sheet. <laughs> okay. You That's have decent HP. Uh, that was below average. Um, Mapachini? What? Roll your new HP value. Okay. Yay. I don't think Mir Mapa has rolled like really well for HP yet. No. So to level up uh, a class skill from one to two, it takes three skill points and two thousand credits. I believe you have saved up one. Mm hmm So yeah. So five days and three skill points, and you can raise anything to two, two, yes, two two. <laughs> yeah, I've got two at a projectile skill now. Okay, so that's five more days that's spent. Twenty nine. Should I turn Natasha into the assistant navigator? Nah, let's make her really proficient at medicine. <laughs> yeah, but she believes she she's already at a skill. At a medical skill high enough to maintain all of you intact. A uh, pilot would be more useful than a navigator. Since we have two ships that can fly, but only one ship that can navigate. Right? You don't need navigation to fly a shuttle, do you? No. No, not at all. You need vehicle space, I believe. Yes. Yeah. It'd be nice to have another shuttle pilot. Well, you'd need to ask her nicely because she's more interested in raising pre-tech. Which seems to be the thing you deal with the most and need her uh, assistant on the most. Well, I have a one in pre-tech now. She can raise it up to two. Well, fuck me. His AIs are overpowered like that. Yeah. <laughs> Not really, it's just the skill packages. 
Yeah, that's just crazy. Right, well, I think uh, maybe we can say goodbye to the stream. So, thank you everyone that came and watched. Thank you everyone that did the game, and thank you, Ariel, for GMing. Thank you for putting up with my crash. <laughs>